When you don't know the exact criteria that you're filtering for, you can use like. So for example, here I'm showing every single thing in my products table. And if you knew you were searching for a product name that was tofu, you could just type in where product name equals tofu. But let's say that you were looking for one of your sauces. You don't know the exact name, you just know that it has the word sauce in the product name title. Well, what you can do in that case is you can type in where and then the name of the column. And here we're going to be taking a look at product name. Then the keyword here of like. All right, so we're looking for a product that has sauce in the name and the product name field is text. So I'm going to use a single quote. I'm going to use the percent sign. And the percent sign here is a wild card, and it means any number of characters or no characters at all. I'll type in sauce, percent sign, and then close my quote. So this is saying that sauce is somewhere contained in that product name. It might be in the beginning, it might be in the middle, it might be in the end. All right, so I'll go ahead and run this. And you can see we have two products that have sauce in the name, cranberry sauce and hot pepper sauce. All right, let's do another example. This time, let's say that you're looking for a product and you know that it starts with the word queso. You're 100% sure that it's queso something. So what I'll do here is I'll get rid of sauce there and I'll type in after the single quote, again, because it's text, I'll type in queso and then my percent sign and then I'll go ahead and close that single quote. So what this is saying here is that I'm looking for text. It starts with queso, and then there are some number of characters or, or no characters at all after the word queso. I'll run that, and you'll see there are two products that start with queso. All right, one last example. This time I'm going to look for a product, and it has the letters A-N in it. So I don't know where, but I know that it's going to have some number of characters possibly, and then A-N, some other characters maybe, and I'll go ahead and close my quote. So you can see here I've got Chang, which has A-N in the middle. I've got my aniseed syrup, which starts with A-N. So when you don't know the exact criteria, use like, and for text, if you're looking for something that begins with, contains, or ends with, you can use the percent sign as your wildcard.